weaponizing the phone. And we have also learned the wave of racist text messaging directing black people to report for slavery duty have also landed in the phones of children. The offensive statements now has the attention, as you mentioned, of State Attorney General Anthony Brown, who along with the FBI have launched investigations. The racist text messages are instilling fear, alarm, and anger in those who got them. I was shocked. I was scared. I was nervous. I was upset. Pam, who does not want to be shown, says her family and friends received the text. Some messages included people's personal names. Other messages just started out with a greeting um, saying that people will be enslaved and that there will be a bus coming to pick up people. The state attorney general, along with the FBI, are investigating. State AG Anthony Brown says the text messages rise to the level of a hate crime. It's outrageous and it really reflects, I think, what is a, a depraved and demented um, outlook uh, and, and mindset for whoever the senders are. The text messages are being sent from numbers with area codes from at least 25 states. Some of the messages say you have been selected to pick cotton at a plantation at a specific date and time. Here's another example. Our executive slaves will come to get you in a brown van. Be prepared to be searched upon arrival to the plantation. How did you get my number and how do I defend myself and how do I protect myself and what is going to be done about this? Some Anne Arundel County students report getting the racist text. In a letter to the community, the superintendent denounced them, also writing, the messages should not be posted or shared to anyone but law enforcement. Doing so only emboldens the cowards who are undertaking these acts. It's worrisome. The whole election had people anxious, and then now we have to deal with random messages coming across to our phone. To black people, people of color, it's, it's not fair. In addition to local police, those who got a racist text message are urged to contact the Civil Rights Division of the AG's office or the Maryland Commission on Hate Crimes Response and Prevention. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.